Greetings, Lego friends. All right, here we have it. Uh, stained glass windows uh, done for the mock church. This is it. I'm not going to labor over these anymore. So these are using all those one-by-one -one transparent snot bricks and then um, just colored studs on top there. And then here I have some dark blue transparent tiles um, to make crosses for these center windows. Um, I like it. I think it's a nice variety. I'm going to have three windows on each side of the church. We'll have space in between um, each of those windows as they're laid out. And then inside the church, we'll ha try to have light bars shining at an angle down on the inside of the windows. So yeah, we've got um, these snot bricks laid out on top of two light blue um, transparent bricks there, the one by two. And then I have four rows of five high of those transparent snot bricks. So man, if I could get more of those at a pick-a-brick wall, um, I will grab a ton of them because um, there's a lot of uses for them. But that's it. Very happy with the stained glass windows. Now we can move forward on the mock church. This is kind of the way the building will will set up here, I think. And I, again, I think I'll put a I put a um, another uh, what would be 16 by 32 base plate here for the cemetery. And then this will probably all just be a walkway toward the church or into the graveyard, I should say, the graveyard. That is the plan. Um, this is the Harry Potter Great Hall. I'll be taking this all apart. I'm not going to use uh, that as you see it. I don't think I'll try to just modify this. I think I'll start over. Um, but this was good to build so I can kind of get an idea of size and shape here how it sits on these base plates. And I am gonna make these into mills plates. That's the next step, um, is to make mills plates for the church. Yahoo! And then we have uh, the clock tower, um, which I will open then uh, very soon and uh, shoot a video on that. Meantime, we got piggies. Yeah, check this out. I would suggest every, um, every week or two, go onto your Facebook marketplace and just do a search for Lego because, um, you know, they can. you can go uh, days and weeks without seeing anything exciting there. And then all of a sudden, kapow, um, you see a good deal that just um, is sitting there. And all you got to do is say something. So, yeah, this one, 21170, the pig house, Minecraft set. Um, seller listed this as new in the box, um, open box, but all bag sealed for $25. Dirt cheap, uh, and this one's 50 bucks if you bought it brand new. And uh, since I'm going to build it, uh, I don't care about the box uh, whatsoever. And uh, when I looked at the pictures, the box looked just totally hashed. Um, but it's not a complete loss. Um, so I'll probably still hold on to the box. But yeah, look at that. 21170, the pig house, 490 pieces. Nothing unique about uh, the minifigures, but... Uh, at least this way, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about busting open my brand new pig house that's in a perfect box. I can just build this one and uh, see how it goes. Should be a lot of fun. Minecraft. Very good. So, yep, that's how we're doing today. So, just a little update. Stained glass windows done. And we're moving on to the mock church. That is the plan. So, thanks for stopping by. Hope you all are having a great day. And we'll catch you on the next one.